Did you know that the Grand Theft Auto 6 map will have at least 200 different buildings with interiors for you to enter? We already know about many of them and their exact locations on the map, so let's start off with Homestead. The in-game name will be Hamlet. This is the exact layout of the street we know of so far. It will have these real-life buildings placed in these spots. Over 10 buildings from the main road of Homestead, Chrome Ave will be appearing for the main road in Hamlet. There is also a sign that points south and says Keys Causeway. In real life in the south, there is a highway which is heading to Key West called Overseas Highway. We know that there will be the keys based off this sign and other code in the files, but the exact layout is less unknown other than the fact there will be houses for you to enter. We have seen Jason more south than Hamlet as Coordinated did place him here when he was found to be crawling, and also farther down where it's the scene of Jason at night. Across the water is a little island you can find the tennis court on. This is the Crandom Park Tennis Center, which you can find in a similar spot in real life. All the way to the south of the Keys is where the Lost at Sea event will take place and there seemingly is a lighthouse which confirms a separate island for you to be stuck at. To the north of the tennis court and southeast of Vice City will be another small island, which is shown to have the port. On top of this, we have the confirmed Miami Beach, as we have seen Lucia already standing at the beach with a separate beach patrol headquarters all on the beach strip. There is a few buildings we know will be on Ocean Beach from other leaks, including Shore Park Hotel, Edwards Apps, or the Jenny Hostel, Hotel Breakwater, which is called the Boardwalk Hotel in the game, Hotel Victor, Art Deco Welcome Center, Edison Hotel, 150 Ocean Drive, Beach Patrol Headquarters, Lose Miami Beach Hotel. Some buildings towards Vice City we know and you can see from this area include City View Parking Garage, Central Concrete Supermix, Maison Grande Condos, Ritz Carlton Bal Harbor, 7969 Bayshore CT Upper East Side, Akoya Condos Miami Beach. Jane Ocean Condos, Miami Beach. Before we take a look at Vice City, we need to go up north to Port Gellhorn. To the north, we know of an intersection which has a gas station and shows a small town vibe. This is where Hank's Waffle Diner is located in the Hank Hill. To the north of Hank's Waffle Diner is the Sugarloaf Mountain. In terms of Port Gellhorn, we know a bit of the layout. We know of the Blue Motel's location a bit to the east, which is where Wyman's pool and trailer scene is located. There is also a confirmed Port Gellhorn rake track. Before we go back into Vice City, we know the rough location of the prison as we have seen the hangar, which is across the street. There is also a few large warehouses in the area. In Vice City, one of the main buildings is the nightclub, which is located in the area of Edgewater. The nightclub is based on the King of Diamonds nightclub and their old location. It will look nearly one to one with this location, even with the branding as it's called the Jack of Hearts nightclub. Around the nightclub will have a pawn shop based on the Americash pawn shop. There is also other buildings nearby which you can make it out, including the New Arena Apartments, Quantum on the Bay Condos, 18 Zero Club Condos, Marina Blue Condo, Miami Marriott Biscayne Bay, Bay Parse Apartments, Oprah Tower. The club's neighborhood looks a bit like this with a park nearby. The park is the Margaret Place Park from real life. Nearby, you can see the Biscayne Bay and the Bridge Venetian Causeway. There will be a flagger monument just in the water. To the west of the club is Little Haiti, which is said the neighborhood for the San Four San Gang. The Little Haiti Memorial will definitely be in the game with the Rockstar Twist. Interstate 97 will be the main highway around this area. 
Under Little Haiti is Rock Ridge. Rock Ridge is known as Little Havana. We know a rough layout including a gas station, the state attorney's office, the Warren Thacker Manor, and the Mamba Stadium based on the Lone Depot Park. It will also have an industrial facility and be right beside the river that flows through the city. This is also where the police station is located, which looks very similar to the Miami Police Department. The buildings are based on the real. Jackson Memorial Building U.S. District Court Clerk C. C. Atkins Courthouse Stephen P. Clark Government Center St. John Bosco Church To the southwest is the Vice City Airport based on the Miami International Airport. This will have its own interior with different metro movers for you to travel in. One is the Miami Metro Mover and the other is the Miami Airport Metro Mover. Just down the road will be a Metro Mover station. In the distance, you can see a bunch of buildings which are also around the location where you carry a body and you see crates to loot. The buildings you see include Seabold Pointy Condominium, Fortune House Hotel, Mary Brickle Village Tower, Four Seasons, Brickle East Condo, Palace Condominium, Brickle Bayview Center, One Broadway, The Imperial from Brickle. In the city, we see a sign pointing west for the Grass River Everglades, which is where we seen Jason's boat. The Solar Amphitheater from Bayfront Park is also referenced and will be right by the water, with two prominent buildings sitting behind. This apartment building will also be one Jason uses as he picks up an assault rifle right in front and goes into the bedroom.